Greetings, YouTube. Just um, making a little quick video about an estate sale I went to. And um, for about 15 bucks, I got a box full of literature. And I had no idea what I was buying, but it looked interesting, so I bought them. <clears throat> and uh, I posted this book on eBay earlier, and within approximately 45 seconds, it had a bid on it for 150 bucks. I'm trying to show it. To hope you can see it. It's a book called The Dawnbreakers, Mabel's Narrative, and um, it comes with other things, too. Not bad. That's a calendar from 1933 from Midland Park, New Jersey, but anyway. I have no idea what I was buying, but it's um, a religious sect, I think from either Egypt or Iran, and it's called this, the, I don't even know how to pronounce it, the Baha'u'llah, -ah the Baha'u'llah, -ah whatever, and Turns out it was owned by a friend of Shaghi Effendi, who um, is this person right here, translated by Shaghi Effendi. So these books um, were owned by uh, Safa and Bafa Kenny. <clears throat> Who are an important part of the this religion right here, and this is the signature of Shaggy Effendi. Uh, so the, per the the people that are buying it are. I didn't list these yet, but I told them I had them, and they told me they want them. Let's see, Shaggy Effendi. Bahai Publishing Company. The Bahai Administration, Shaggy Effendi. And um, they're interested in this letter. It is. 1940 that was typed by Shaggy Effendi so it's an original and there's two pages and um, it comes with this book um, this pamphlet from 1933, Shaggy Effendi, Declaration of Trust, Bylaws of a Logical Spiritual Assembly, National Baha'i, ba I don't even know how to pronounce it, but there it is right there, 1943. Whatever that word is, the Baha'i office, the epistle to the son of the wolf, and also Safa and Bafa Kenny. And if you look up Safa and Bafa Kenny in relationship to Shaggy Effendi, you'll see that there's why they would want them. And it's cool because it proves that this is an original signature because then you got the ink blotted here, right here. See the ink? 
how I like those bikes. And you go to the page, it shows that it's a genuine signature. And um, an at wound. There's another book. That also is marked Kinney. And then this little page mark here is very old. It's from the 30s or 40s. And it says on it, it has some name. Uh, I can't really see it, but. That's, I looked that name up, and it's also has something to do with um, this organization. There's another one. There's another signature, Sapa and Vapa Kinney. They lived in Brooklyn. <clears throat> and uh, I saw this on Craigslist, this really cool sale. That was being held in Brooklyn, so I went. I'm glad I went. And, and this another book. It also has Sapa and Bapa Kenny. And then another book. Sapa and Bapa Kenny. And then uh, there was this book. I just call God's Heroes. And um, I didn't even know it, but the book came with, um, I don't know if these are worth anything, but they're, uh, or if they're even real. I don't know. Could be copies or something, but it came with these old notes from Mexico. And, um, I don't know if they're real or not, but because they're in such nice shape. But it says, uh, 1913 somewhere. Yeah. And there's a bunch of them. So, I mean, this person who sold them. See, this one it has a feel to it. Like it's real. But I don't know. Came with that. That. This. All this for pocket change bunch of them. Cinco pesos. Cinco pesos. Cinco pesos. So I don't know what the affiliation is. Why there's... What what they have to do with Mexico. Very, very unusual. But, um... I just thought I'd share that with you. That, um... I found historical books that are owned... By Zafa and Vafa Kinney, and were presented to them by Shaggy Effendi. So I was very, very amazed at all the email I'm getting on eBay uh, from collectors that want these, but um, that want the one book anyway. And then I told them about these person who put a bid on it sent me a letter an email first trying to buy it for cheap and I told him no I says oh, it's on auction and, uh, and when I don't know how much it's worth I always leave it on for one week <clears throat> and then if it's not worth anything then I'll sell it and I'm glad I, I didn't take his offer which was 
much lower than what he bid on it. He really wants this book because he's to the book that's online. This one. So anyway, that's all I'd like to tell you. Thank you and have a nice day. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, historical tidbit. Have a nice day.